okay so this line of code actually checks whether your your screen is, is empty or not so if there's no number down into the screen it's going to give you this post on the screen that says enter something else so um, else we have to else we are going to down number so start Into brackets, string telephone number, tell us a um, screen. I think it's been a get text, and the last parameter will be okay. Yeah, no last parameter here. Um, that's it. So we are actually getting an error because we need to check for permissions. I think in Android 6.0, yeah, Android 6.0. If I'm if I'm quite sure, you when you want to use a permission, you need to check for permissions. So this in this case, we want to use the action call permission. So what we have to do is create a permission check permission um method so I have one here which I'm just going to paste so we have this boolean check call permission so what this line does is this line actually calls the permission so the permission we need to check for is under the permission box call for me. and then we initialize the variable which is res and assign it to this method it gets application from that that this refers to the context of your activity dot check calling or self, self permission so we are going to pass permission into this method so what we do next is we return we return this to integers we, we have to return if this integer is equal to the integer package manager dot permission graph so if this is true you get permission so let's make a few let's make a little change here so let's if so i can check permission and then i have result but we forgot to um now we have to add that permission to our manifest so let's just do that right here so we use this permission Android permission Android and permission is already here. Here's the call from and we're done. So now we have no more errors because we check for permission and we very they got found out that permission is available in the manifest file. So we can now proceed. Okay. So here in the delete button, what we are going to be doing is that um, let's say you have entered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, blah, 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 blah. You need to delete. You, need, you also you obviously have to delete from the back. So so let's say nine goes first before two goes first before eight goes first before seven goes first. So you just going to do a quick method for that. So we hit an if clause here. If screen let's get text dot string dot length is greater than or equal to one. Then uh, we're gonna execute this function. So string new screen new screen is equal to screen dot get text dot string dot substring it's bracket zero so twenty four zero screen dot get text oh I get text uh, what am I doing? 
string the vertex of the string. Is there any method wrong method here? Put the string the length minus one. And the reason why we using minus one is think it's not something here. Yeah. So screen of the text of the string the such string zero. Come on, screen of the text. It's a string of length minus one. Why am I getting an error here? No statement. Uh, um, I think I need to put this in braces so that it clears the error. For me, okay, it looks like that works. So I was saying that why is minus one is because you will be deleting from the end of the string. So. You will listen from so now we'll go first for eight seven four six four five four four. That's how it's going to work. And then we set the new screen to screen dot set text to new screen. Okay, so we are done here. Now let's check what our application is running now. These watch. Hmm. Okay, so my meter is already up and running. So okay. Fine. Point. 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 Let's wait for it to drop in the emulator. Then we're gonna see how it works, sir. Oh, this is taking slow, man. Okay, so we have our application here. Now let's try not entering any tickets. Enter some tickets. So because the test for this empty, it requires us to enter some tickets. Now let's enter. Drag down a number. Down. Okay, you can see it's actually called a number we want to 36908. So you can see that the cache is now working perfectly. Now with the delete, you see that when I tap one, it deleted eight, it's five, it's nine, it's eight, nine, seven, eight. Okay, so uh, that's all guys nice for this tutorial. I hope you like this tutorial and Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay guys, see you later. Peace.